Hey everyone, Carrie Beck here with Family eBiz, and we are finally here in fall. I don't know where you live, but in Texas, it's been hot as blazes. And this past week, we had a cool front. We actually spent, my kids and I family, spent a long, well, we I left last Wednesday. I just got back last night. A long uh, weekend up in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. It was gorgeous. The weather was wonderful. We could build a fire, cook, make some s'mores, watch the two-year-old try to eat some mores with the marshmallow hanging out it was quite eventful actually so um that's not what we're talking about but um i just thought um i mentioned it let me know what the weather's like wherever you are do y'all have fall yet and um i also have my fall decorations out around the house so that's been nice as well that is not what we're talking about today we are in the middle of a series about refocusing our email um our marketing strategies because a lot of times what happens is we get going doing this that and the other and we sort of forget about the big picture and making sure that we've got things in the right order the things that we need to have last week we started at the beginning and some of you were like okay i already know that but sometimes our audience changed so yeah that's what we talked about our target audience who is our ideal customer and the homework i gave you was to write down and tell me or if you want who is your ideal customer have you written down a whole i would say at least a half a page description maybe bullet points exactly their age their sex what are their hobbies what are their likes what are their interests do they have kids do they have pets all sorts of things like this those are the things that we need to be writing about because you cannot have a marketing plan if you don't know who you're marketing to you have got to know that as well. And so that was number one. That was last week. We're going to move forward in a marketing plan, assuming that you know who they are, who your right customers are. And we're going to talk about things called sales funnels and email funnels. This is something, if you don't know what that is, basically a funnel looks like this. And a funnel starts at the top and it's a broad, everyone that maybe lands on your website. And then the ones that sign up for something. It goes all the way down so that your best customers are at the bottom. And they're the ones that are going oh, buying from you over and over and over again. So we've got it at the top. And then we want to move them down in through the funnel so they become a buying customer and a repeating buying customer. In order to have a good funnel, I think you need a proven plan. This isn't just pick and choose. Oh, that person's saying that today, so I'm going to do this. And then two days, oh, they're telling me I need to do this, so I'm going to go do that. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do that is not a marketing funnel that is not a plan and that is certainly not proven because you're following five different people and you don't even know what you're doing it's also not shiny objects oh that email said to get this i'll get that i'll work on that week later oh my emails i'll buy one of those because the email says to do that oh no what's the benefit of having a marketing funnel or a marketing plan one it's going to help you make money because you have a process and you're actually moving people through your funnel. And we'll talk about what that looks like. It's going to help you with time management because you're not going to spend time on everything that comes along. If it does not meet the parameters of your marketing funnel, you don't want to do it. Helps you with organization, both on your website and your day and being more productive because you're spending time doing the things that really matter. And it'll help you know what to promote and what not to promote. You know, a couple of years ago, I just got rid of it. I was promoting everything in my homeschool, family and gardening and this and that. And then I realized I needed to focus on what was important and what my target market needed. And so I got rid of a lot of affiliate things that I was supposed that I was working on. So we need a proven plan excuse me, a typical funnel will look like this. We're going to have awareness and people hit you at the awareness and then they have an interest in what you have. They consider what you have. There's a conversion rate. They actually uh, spend money with you and then you retain them. So they're buying and listening to you over and over again. I have some mastermind members that actually said, Carrie, I just quit listening to everyone else except for you. Because it was just too confusing. I had too many things going on and I wasn't getting anywhere. So let's talk about these different stages of our funnel. Awareness. This can be 
putting out your weekly content, driving traffic to your website, um, sending out emails to continue to keep people aware. You know, at the end of this month, we're having Pat. Path to Profit Summit, and you are going to learn all sorts of ways that you can drive traffic and offer weekly content. This will include Pinterest, Instagram, starting from scratch. If you have zero people on your list, you're going to learn how to build that list and get people there. Facebook ads, maybe you want to do that. How do you set up your posts correctly so that more people will respond to your posts. Those are a lot of the things that we'll be covering in the summit at the end of the month. I'll be telling you more about that later. Interest. So we move from awareness. They're just sort of aware they may need this and they're really interested in what your topic is. Maybe it is um, a healthy baby. And so they, they know they need it, but when they get pregnant, then they're really interested in it and they're going to spend more time in it. And so that's when we offer them lead magnets. Just like um, last week, I talked and I gave you a lot of ideas on lead magnets. If you if you missed that, go back and listen to part one last week. Um, another way that we develop interest is once they sign up for a lead magnet, we continue to give them little snippets of things that they need to know that will build their interest. And um, we actually um, have a simple funnel workshop in Path the Profit Summit that Aaron's going to be putting, uh, talking about and some simple landing pages. So if you're not sure how to do those lead magnets, be sure to come to the summit. So we move from awareness to interest and then consideration. I am really considering to sign up for whatever this person is offering. I am opening every single one of their emails because I am really considering it. Some of you were really considering Digital Course Academy. And so when I was sending emails out, you were opening every single one of them and clicking on it to see what was going on at that time. Awareness, interest, consideration, conversion. And conversion is where it could be a simple conversion just that they sign up for a lead magnet. But I would go even further, conversion to a, a paying customer. So let's talk about this. I said I was going to tell you a way that you could get sales instantly. When your people come in and they sign up for a lead magnet at that interest level or the consideration level, and they sign up and they click the button, you can make sales immediately on the next page. It's called a tripwire or a one-time offer. And you put a timer on there and it's whatever your offer is, it's only good for 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever you set it up. And it's an incredible offer. It's something that's very good. And so that can be a conversion from your lead magnet freebie quickly, instantly to a paid follower, a paid reader, a customer, not just a reader or follower, but a customer. Another way you can do this is with your flash sales. If you offer a welcome message, the last few emails should be a flash sale and you can convert them from getting that lead magnet going through your welcome series and boom, they're offered a really good offer at the end of that welcome series. And then the last thing is retention. And I really think this is done best through email. I think you can do it through social media because they get to know you. But one of the best ways is email because you can control what email is. We're going to spend the rest of the time talking about email. But I think it's really important that you understand the funnel starts just interest. And then we're moving them all the way down to a customer who's buying over and over from you. You know, um, some of you think, OK, well, we've got to start with some low ticket item or a freebie. David at our Path to Profits, I'm super excited about it. He's going to be talking about high ticket offers and how you use high ticket offers to build your list. Isn't that cool? I think that's going to be exciting. And Becky, another thing, talking about all these different areas of um, the funnel is going to be talking about engagement with Pinterest, using Pinterest to drive traffic, to encourage engagement with you as well. Funnels help build that know, like, and trust factor. All right. So that is something that I think is really easy to do. We need to build the know, like, and trust. One of the best ways is email helps you build relationships. Now, wherever you are listening to, first of all, I forgot to ask you, if you are listening to this um, on a channel where you can subscribe, please subscribe. We can get this information out to more and more people. But I have a brand new scrappy list building checklist. And wherever you're listening to this, you should be able to see a link in the description. Go grab it. It is free. And when you land there, you'll get some more information about setting up a sales funnel.
So it's really important that we have that funnel. Now let's talk about email lists. I've been talking about that. I think email lists is your number one asset. You can control it. You can't control Instagram, Facebook, X, whatever, Pinterest. And so with our email list, we want to create valuable lead magnets and we will deliver them through our email list. They don't just go download them. All right. And so we want to be able to do this and deliver it through email. So they begin to get the um, in the habit of opening your emails. Now, one thing that is really important is that whatever that lead magnet is that you're offering and then they're going to go open it up it really needs to have a good message match what do i mean by that it means that whatever the lead magnet is whatever you write on that landing page where they're signing their name and email it needs to really say what it is and what problem it's solving and how it can help you and so then when they actually get it they'll think oh yeah this is exactly what i was looking for so I do think when you deliver it, it's really important that you do that. Now, I am going to show you a real simple email funnel. Uh, even got my trusty little whiteboard here. So I'm going to talk to you about, oh, this is um, basically, well, I'll share it in a second. Um, I'm going to talk about a simple welcome series. All right. And I will tell you right now, if you come to our summit and you come to the VIP day, you're going to you're going to create an actual welcome series during the day. You don't have to do it after the summit. You will actually have time during the summit that day to actually write your emails and we'll have templates for you and everything. But uh, a welcome series does a lot of things. You can put your welcome series on autopilot, meaning someone signs up. And then when they sign up for your lead magnet, and let's just sort of put this out. So we've got our web page and we have traffic that sends them to our web page. And on that web page, they are offered something free. That is our lead magnet. But in order to get that freebie, they have got to give us their name although some of them don't always do that, an email because we don't give it to them on the web page. Then from here, we send them email one. Okay. Also, when they click here, this is sort of, um, they're going to get that tripwire or one-time offer. Oh, can y'all see that? There we go. Sort of a glare. Get over here. There we go. A little better. All right. So they're going to land on your web page. You're going to drive traffic to them. It's going to offer them something free, and they're going to have to enter their name and email. When they click the button, they're going to get that 15, 20, 30 minute offer. That's really good. And at the same time, they will get an email with the item they were looking up. Like right now, if you go in there and you get my scrappy list building checklist. You're going to get a one-time offer. You can go try it out and see how it works. And you're going to get email number one that says, oh, thanks so much. Here's what you can do. And it's going to give you the checklist. In that email, it's also going to say every day for the next several days, you're going to get an email that will explain each one of these ways. Because it's just a checklist that you can put up and you can see what you're doing. So email one is basically um, the item. Then the next email is my intro. I got to get on the other side, right-handed person. All right, that's an email. So it's an intro. That's usually a couple of hours later. Then um, my next one is usually, did you get it? And what did you think of it? And it's just giving them the link to whatever it is. It could be the video link. It could be a PDF link. Depends on your um, your um, what it is. If it's something that's a, a long series, like you've got a five day um, uh, challenge, then you would just do your five days. But I'm just assuming it's just a one shot PDF or video or audio. Then the next thing we're going to do on email, because all of these are email is you're going to send a few content emails. 
You want to build them so that, and this should be a quick win. Something that they could implement quickly and they say, yes, I like this person. They're giving me good stuff. I'm going to keep going. And then the very end of this series is a flash sale of some kind. 24 hour, 48 hours, something like that. All right. It needs to have a timer also, a timer that will make it really disappear. Not all timers do that. So this is a email funnel. This whole thing is a sales funnel. And you can see we can go from free to actually making money. That's what this is. One time offer. But then we're also using our email funnel. So there's two kinds of funnels right here that you can use. Both of them, I think you need in place. You need to follow a proven plan. If you're making a welcome series, have an idea of what you're doing. This is just one that I learned years ago. There's lots of different kinds. But don't make it up. Follow a proven plan, a process that actually works as well. Now, um, so that's our email funnel. The other thing with emails that you can do is segment your list. And I'm not going to go into detail, but if for me, let's say, um, when my people come in in the homeschool world, and I like to use a niche idea, not the family e-biz ideas, although I am offering you the checklist today. But um, a lot of times, like for fall, I have a fall, free fall activity guide. When they land on that, they're going to get a welcome series through email. They're going to get a one-time offer for my unit study toolkit. And it's very cheap. Not that the information is very valuable, but it's inexpensive. It's something that really they don't even have to think, yeah, I'm going to go get that. So that now, but if they come in and they get my prayer um, PDF or my prayer lists or whatever, those are my lead magnets, I'm going to send them to my drama-free mom bundle as a one-time offer. I'm not going to send them to unit studies. They're needing help with their family and their kids and their relationships. So I'm going to send them something about get rid of the drama in your life with this bundle. So you need to make sure, again, message match. Whatever you are offering on the landing page, and I guess that's what this website is, whatever, this need to all go together, all solve the same problem. All right. So my website page, if I'm uh Whatever I offer for the OTO, the website needs to say this, whatever solving their problem. I give them a freebie that solves the problem. And this even does it even better. All right. And then my emails are doing, they're all on the same topic. We don't just have one topic within our industry or within our niche. So let me just show you quickly what you can go get for free. That is a basic overview of sales and email marketing um, funnels that I think you have to have and you need to find a funnel that works for you I've just shared one that works for me and there are different ones but you want to make sure it converts people from just reading and getting all your freebies to buying quickly quickly all right so here's what I have I have our scrappy list building uh, uh, checklist doesn't show up very well here it's a free resource that's going to help you drive more traffic, grow your email list, and make more sales. And it's going to look like this. And so what you're going to do is for each one of these, you'll get an email during the week. And it will uh, show you exactly what you need to do to implement this. Eventually, I'll pull this all together. But since I don't have all those emails written, you can make something before you have it finished. And I am offering this a good lesson to learn. I'm offering this before it's completely finished. Yes, I have my PDFs, and there's actually some more pages in the ebook that you're going to get. But I have this done, and I have my uh, campaign, so you're going to automatically get the link to this. It's in Google Drive, and you already, I already have everything set up through tomorrow. That's it. And then tonight, I can work on the rest of them. But do you see how sometimes y'all want to get everything perfect and done beforehand? No, you can just get it done and then you can get part of it done and then just make sure you are always one step ahead of whatever it is you're offering. Same with the digital course, you know, digital course. I did not have that whole digital course when I sold it the first time. In fact, I created it 
after people bought it just like this some of y'all will go in and get this thing here and i will create it after you've already gotten it because i'll be sending that out tomorrow some of my affiliates are going to which leads me to a couple things number one if you have a list of people that need to drive traffic grow their lists um learn more about sales funnels I would love for you to be an affiliate for our um, Path to Profit Summit and um, just send me a DM. Let me know you're interested, what type of list you have, and we will set you up as an affiliate. And then you can actually make 40% of the commission uh, commission on whatever people are paying. Um, I will be sharing more about that because we'll be starting next week for registration. But for right now, I'm going to just give you a little hint. Mark your calendars, October 26th and 27th Summit. We have got some outstanding speakers. I am so excited covering a wide variety of topics. Um, so, so get it on your calendar. Get ready. I'll be sending you some more emails or other people will too. Anyway, I am Carrie Beck with FamilyEvis.com. Go get your target market written if you haven't done that. And write up that sales funnel, the email funnel. Make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Talk to you later.